Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. We all know that the Backwards Bob Spin Master Monster Jam diecast review is the most popular video on the channel. So I figured let's show off some more Monster Jam uh, Spin Master products. And maybe in the future some more Monster Truck diecast because those seem to be pretty popular. But I've got something pretty interesting today. It's a mix of both worlds almost. Not only are we looking at the Lucas Oil Stabilizer Peterbilt Monster Truck or Peterbilt um, Semi Truck inspired uh, Monster Truck. Not only we're we looking at that brand new casting, we're also looking at another cool thing about this. Check this out, guys. Not only do you get the truck, but you also get a NASCAR inspired 164 scale die cast with it. This is a part of the uh, Spin Master uh, race car and monster truck line, which is very, very cool. Here's what the packaging looks like for the first time. This is what it looks like. You get your truck and your stock car up there with the same paint scheme. Here's the back of the box. Unfortunately, it does not show the wave, but there are plenty of different trucks you can get. And I didn't already have the Lucas Oil uh, stabilizer before. This is the first time I'm getting this die cast, but we're getting it with a NASCAR. So this is the first time ever that I will be looking at a Spin Master NASCAR stock car right here, which is going to be pretty interesting. Um, so the only, um, the only negative about this, if anybody, if anybody's planning to, like, keep these in the box and display them, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to find a different way, because there are no, like, hooks on the top of this. You know, there's usually a hook on top of the box. This does not have that, so. Thankfully, I was already planning to use this truck for my monster truck, um, you know, die cast stuff. So that's not really a big deal, but that's just what the box looks like. I'm showing this off because it's the first time we're reviewing something like this on the channel. And by the way, guys, these are exclusive to Walmart. You're not able to find this anywhere else in Target or nothing like that. This is only a Walmart thing, the NASCAR and Monster Truck thing. So I figured I'd pick this up and make a pretty cool little video here on Project 94 and kind of take a break from the NASCAR reviews for at least one or two videos and take a look at something pretty cool. Um, so this is a big deal because we're looking at a stock car. So basically, it's been like a handful of years since Spin Master has made a NASCAR stock car or just a stock car NASCAR type of die cast since um, Lionel bought out the NASCAR Authentic. So here we go. How is it going to play out? And this is the first time I'm getting the stabilizer, so I'm really excited for that. Here's a little NASCAR in the box still. We will take a look at that after we look at the truck. So, here it is, out of the box. Bam, here it is, the brand new 2023 Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Very, very cool truck. Very awesome. I am just in love with it. This, of course, was the replacement truck for the Lucas Oil Crusader. Uh, Lucas Oil decided that they want to have a monster truck again. And we got the stabilizer. Very, very cool semi truck um, inspired. I don't know if it's a Mac or a Peterbilt truck, but it's one of those two. Bottom line is, it's a custom semi truck mounted onto a monster truck chassis, which is very cool. You can even see the whole back of the chassis. How cool is that? So here's the truck we will be taking a look at in a second after I get the NASCAR out of the package. And these things are bubbled in here. Anyways, here it is out of the box, and right off the bat, it feels pretty good. Here's the NASCAR out of the box. This obviously is a 2021 Ford Mustang. Uh, ever since Kevin Harvick did that one start at um, Nashville with the Gravedigger paint scheme, they were inspired to just do NASCARs for every truck or most of the trucks now. Pretty cool. Feels pretty good and pretty high quality. So we'll take a look at that after we look at the monster truck here because this is... Uh, really exciting to get the Lucas Oil Stabilizer in its die-cast form. Uh, Lucas Oil is back on the channel. We reviewed Kyle Busch's first uh, RCR win. So that's going to be a pretty cool die-cast review for you to check out. Um, but anyways, here's the stabilizer. So in the front of this thing, of course, no manufacturer. I don't think the real truck shows a manufacturer either. So it's just a semi-truck front end here. Pretty cool. On the hood, you have uh, Lucas Oil Products Incorporated. It says it says high performance Lucas, pretty cool stuff. BKT wheels. Um, they also had this truck in the Jester two pack, which is really cool because Jester is one of my other favorite trucks. 
but that pack got super rare and this truck actually has the BKT printing on the wheels which looks very cool makes it more authentic of course you got the Lucas stabilizer you have Lucas oil products Indianapolis IN you have US.0717 dang I gotta be able to read this let me zoom in on the, this camera here let's try a little bit harder here we go you got is that a six or a zero? Zero seven one seven one nine six nine. Of course, you got the little door bolting's right there, little circles. You got the Lucas stabilizer. You got Monster Jam. Let's see. You got high performance Lucas Oil Products Incorporated. You have Monster Jam's the little Monster Jam logo there. And on the back, you have nothing. <laughs> Just the little back part of the cab up here, it says it works because Lucas Oil does work. On the roof spoiler, which is kind of a weird mold they did for the roof spoiler. It's not really a roof spoiler, it's just a little like metal, just like slope up here. But like the truck says, it works. You have Lucas Oil on the roof spoiler, which is pretty cool. They decked it out with the roof spoiler. It, it, this is a hooked up semi monster truck and I love it. Got the stars and stripes on the uh, the roof right there, and of course we're back to the hood. Okay, so for the paint scheme itself, I'm gonna do my best here because uh, this is a different type of die cast than a stock car. Um, so let's look at the design. Okay, so on the front corners of the hood and the around the nose, well this thing barely has a nose because it's just a big box semi truck front end. But of course the front fenders are all blue. Then there's a bit of a white gap right there to make room for that red stripe that's going to swoop down with it, which is super cool. And of course, you're going to have the blue stripes um, kind of flow out of these little... I'm not sure what you would call that on a semi-truck. I'm not a, a semi-truck mechanic expert, so I'm not sure what those little things are. But the blue stripes come out of those. Of course, leaves a little gap right there, and it's pretty round, which is super cool. I like the way that looks very clean. Of course, on the um, poking out of the front windshield... You have the little red stripe because the red stripe starts right here past the smokestack. You can see a little uh, gap with the white and the stars and the blue. You can see like it's spaced out so the red can just flow through the middle, which looks super good. See that stripe flows on to the front windshield right here. But of course the white cuts this off because they have this little metal plating here. So the red's going to swoop past the side windshield, past the rear view mirror, through the windshield in the front, and then poke out right there on both sides. The paint scheme is the same on both sides so it'll pretty much work the same way pretty cool it just flows all the way to the front which looks good and of course you can add a little blue stripe right there of course you have the little space it's, it's spaced out it's like that you can see the red you got the white the blue the white and the red but of course behind the little spaces right there you have little gray stars uh, which looks super cool nonetheless you have the, the blue stripe that goes through here the red stripe that pokes through here and it's round looking it's just rounded off to leave this cool white space for the little sponsors. And of course, that's the side design. Of course, you get the red stripe, blue stripe, red stripe, and of course, a giant blue stripe that's going to wrap around the back part of the cab. Go through the back. Pretty much flow from the sides, the corners, onto the roof, and kind of just point into this little... It's like a rounded off like arrow almost. And it just pointy in the middle right there. And of course, you're going to have the white... Uh, gaps right there where they're gonna put the stars. It's spaced out because you see the red white red or Red white blue of course red white blue and of course on the white you're gonna have the little gray Silver ish stars. They're just like a light gray decal Which is pretty cool to look at and Of course if you're wondering what the base coat of this truck is I can flip it over It looks to be that I correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they painted this blue and then the white is a decal, or they painted the white on after they did the blue. Uh, if anyone knows about that, please correct me, but I believe that's how that thing went. Usually when I want to see what color a die cast is painted, I flip it over and look underneath the body and see what it was before. But it is blue underneath. And that's cool. That's a very cool uh, red, white, and blue uh, paint scheme right there. The stabilizer, of course, the smoke stacks, the roof spoiler, the little fuel canisters the sides of the semi truck very detailed very detailed casting as expected of spin master they do a great job with these uh monster trucks of course the rear view mirrors right there the little 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 headlights and of course the giant box grill in the front 
I like this. This is a very cool truck, and I cannot wait to add it to my collection of the monster trucks. And now we're going to look at the fun part of the review, the little NASCAR that comes with it. Let's check it out, guys. Here it is. And, of course, the paint scheme is a little bit adjusted to fit onto this uh, mold here. But nonetheless, here we go. So on the front, you have the fake uh, Mustang, the knockoff Mustang. It's got the Monster Jam logo where the Mustang uh, horse would have been at. I know it's all, like, whited out and there's no detail. It's just a mold. They molded out all the details, but no decal for the headlights, no decal for the grill, nothing like that. But that's how these things look in the front. They're all Mustangs. There's no Camry or Chevrolet Camaro. Just a Mustang. You got some pretty sharp hood lines right there. Jeez, they stick out big time. So they added some of their own touches to it. It's not all copied from the real life NASCAR, you guys. But on the hood, you have Lucas Oil Products Incorporated. High performance. Of course, this is definitely not the Kyle Busch paint scheme. This is based on the truck itself. Pretty much the same scheme onto a stock car. Maybe Kyle Busch can run a throwback and run this exact scheme with the number 8. I think that would be pretty cool. On the sides, you have Monster Jam. It's so weird to see Monster Jam on a NASCAR. But we've seen it with Kevin Harvick's paint scheme. And because of that one paint scheme, we have all of these. You have Lucas Stabilizer. Of course, you got Lucas Oil again right there. Pretty blurry decal, but that usually happens with Spin Master. But they are placed correctly, and that's what matters. On the back... See, like, these, like, print lines, these little lines that are showing? So the printer, their printer must have been running out of ink when they put this out. You have Monster Jam right there on the, the back where it would have GT. Instead, it's got Monster Jam because it's got MonsterJam.com over the Ford license plate, which is not there. It's just MonsterJam.com. It works on the deck lid and Lucas Oil on the roof up like this. So it's pretty much pointed towards the back like that. For the paint scheme itself, it's pretty much the same scheme. I could be wrong about that. We put these things together. Are these going to be the same? Eh. Oh, they did change it a little bit. Okay, I have to review it because they did kind of change it. Remember, guys, Monster Truck onto NASCAR. It's not going to be the exact same. Uh, they spray painted this thing in white. Of course, here's the bottom 2023 FMS. Of course, the NASCAR uh, style under tray of the Gen 6. or this is a Gen 6, not a next gen. Of course, you have Monster Jam underneath. And now, of course, the red roll cage. So, look, we have uh, painted roll cages. How cool is that? You got a red roll cage to tie it all together. Very, very cool. You got very tinted, black tinted windows on this car. So, they're tinted on there, so it's not super clear. But it is red inside of that. The Blue Thunder had yellow, which looked really ugly and did not match. The red matches this for sure. Would have been cool if the truck had a red roll cage, but it has to be accurate to the real truck. You guys got to remember that, so... Uh, no Goodyear stuff on this, of course. They can't get the license. I can zoom in. So, like I said, no uh, Goodyear, no Ford logos because licensing issue. Uh, but on the front of it, it's all white. If I can zoom in on it a little bit more so that we can get a better look at this thing. There you go. Now you can get a much better look at it. Of course, on the hood, you're going to have the little red parts of the stripe and then the rest is blue. That blue stripe is going to wrap onto the front of the sides right there on the door. Then, of course, you're going to have the other blue stripe that pokes out of the stabilizer logo. Leaves a bit of room, a bit of a gap. Of course, the red stripe, which is also spaced out pretty evenly. It's in the middle, leaving the blue stripe spaced out for the red stripes to fit, to fit through, which is pretty cool. Of course, you're going to have the two stripes that wrap around the side windshields, the passenger windshields. They're going to flow through the top corners right here, leave a little bit of a white gap right there in the middle, and then poke through the windshield, and then out through the little hood vent right there. And of course, you got the little spike right there. All flows together, all flows together, geez, pretty nicely, long day of reviews. Um, and here's the back of this thing, or the back portion of it. So all of this is blue, except this is like curved right here, so you can see the white kind of flow through with the gray stars. And it's going to round itself out and point on the roof right there and leave a bit of a space between the Lucas Oil and that. Little poking out stripe right there. And of course, you're going to have three of the gray stars on the corners right here, right next to the little stripe swoop. And then a few of the stars underneath the rear quarter windows. And what's really cool is that the window, the rear quarter window has the, or the entire side windows have a black outline to it. Which makes it look kind of like a street car and sort of like the real car, which is kind of cool. 
I know that like black outline stuff kind of leads to decal errors like this happening, which can look pretty bad. But hey, guys, I I'm giving them a lot of rope because they have not made NASCARs in a while. So if there's any like little tiny errors, I'm not going to just go insane over it because they're trying something new. They're not only really trying something new, they're going back to something they used to do, but they're doing it in a different way. I feel like that's a fair way of saying it. Of course, no good ears, but we're going to see how it rolls. Oh, wow, that rolls pretty good. It rolls. Here's the truck rolling. Of course, we already know the trucks. We're all concerned about the stock car. Rolls pretty good. The wheel's a little bit loose in the front, the, uh, the left front, but it's not a big deal at all. And here, once again, was the under tray, if I can, or the under the chassis, because it's a Gen 6 car. And it looks to me that the body is symmetrical. Is it symmetrical? Looks to be symmetrical. They had to make it, like I said, they can't really copy the real NASCAR. So it looks to be symmetrical. It doesn't have like that twisted sister back end to it. Like the real Gen 6 car. But nonetheless, if Spin Master wanted to make NASCAR diecast again, I wouldn't mind. This is pretty good quality. It feels good. The clear coat is just excellent. The best clear coat used on stock car die casts since Hot Wheels. And I gotta say, this, this is good. This is good quality. Very good quality. And you got two vehicles for like, what, what was this, $7? Not bad. Not a bad value. You got a NASCAR uh, produced by Spin Master, which hasn't been done since like 2015. And then, of course, you're going to have the monster truck. And I suggest you do this to a truck you already have. Like, really get another Gravedigger to just to get the Gravedigger stock car. Like I said, I got this because I did not have this truck. So I got the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. And what a way to get it with an extra NASCAR. How cool is that? So, yeah. Uh, here's a 360 view of the NASCAR. Once again, here's the front. Just pretty much like how I do a 360 view of any NASCAR diecast on this channel. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. This looks good. It feels good. Of course, got the right arrow package. Small spo uh, spoiler. No roof rails on it. That's the only thing. Looks good. <laughs> I gotta say, this is refreshing to see a stock car made with this level of quality. The plastic wheels, I don't mind because the rubber wheels don't are they're not the best rollers on carpets, and they don't really steer as good. So for kids, this is perfect. I would not mind if Spin Master made some NASCARs on the side because this looks very cool. I love the way that looks. I just love how this car feels. It feels good the way it should. I mean, maybe one day they can make like a NASCAR monster truck. How about that? That would be pretty interesting to see that. I would love it. Uh, but anyways, there was the NASCAR we looked at. And now here, of course, is the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. The thing that steals the show. Well... Depending on what you came here for, you either came to this video for the NASCAR or the truck, because I'm sure people have reviewed this thing plenty of times. But I wanted to give my take on it, because I think this is a very cool truck and a very cool concept uh, done by Spin Master of NASCARs and monster trucks in the same back. So, what do you guys think of this? Um, is this, this video going to blow up just like the backwards bob? We'll have to find out. So, thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecast.